Griffintown is moving fast, and what's the beauty of Griffintown is that there's a lot of variety of buildings. It's not only, uh, resi well, there's a lot of residential, but there's a lot of commercial coming, so, and there's a lot of price ranges as well. I mean, people uh, think that Griffintown is very expensive, but it depends. Uh, there's a lot of choice, a lot of variety. So, uh, and the, the way it's moving right now, the way that it is moving right now, in five years, Griffintown is gonna be well established as a neighborhood. It's gonna be booming. I mean, the design that they're actually uh, constructing right now, the um, Smith Promenade, which is amazing, it's beautiful. It's, it won a design award the last year and they started the construction this year and it's gonna be finished at the end of the year and it's right near uh, the water. So, I mean, they wanna connect the Griffin Town downtown to the water with the, the, the Promenade Smith. So there's a lot of nice things coming on. And in five years, I expect to be a neighborhood will be, that's gonna be very fun to live in. Griffin Town, I mean, it's, uh, it's one of the latest piece of land that we can develop near a downtown area. You don't see this anymore in Toronto or in Vancouver. So, I mean, we started slowly, but right now there's a lot of actions that have been taken to uh, bring some services. To, um, to invest in parks. There's a lot of parks uh, that have been announced uh, in their neighborhood so that people can start living in their neighborhood because five years ago, uh, five years ago there was well, nobody uh, in the area. So we're, we're moving forward and people are actually kind of starting to enjoy uh, living in Griffintown, I mean, in the, the downtown Griffintown. So